The housing market is currently in the middle of a shift and a lot of sellers out there are being caught off guard because of these recent changes. So in today's video, I want to take some time and walk you through what the market looks like as a seller out there at the moment. Which properties are selling quickly, which properties are sitting on the market a little bit longer, and some things that you have to do in this market that you haven't had to do over the last two years in order to get top dollar and sell your home in a reasonable amount of time. Over the last two years, we've seen homes sell very quickly, many times before ever going on the market for over the asking price with buyers willing to waive all the contingencies and do all of these crazy things. Well, that's no longer the case for many markets out there. Now, before I dive into this information, I wanna remind you, all real estate is local. So depending on where you're located, you might see a little bit more inventory, things softening a little bit more. In other areas, you might see inventory continuing to go down and crazy things continuing to happen in the market. So just make sure you're paying attention to what your market is doing. But what I can say is nationwide, we're starting to see a lot more homes come on the market. Inventory is rising. Buyer demand has declined, partly due to affordability issues with regards to rising rates. The other part, due to seasonality. It's the summertime, things tend to slow this time of year with the kids out of school, people taking vacations, just a lull in the market, and we're experiencing that at the moment. And as a seller, you have to take that into consideration when you're trying to maximize price in the quickest amount of time. Now, over the last two years, we've seen sellers be unrealistic in many ways. They've been able to price their homes at really any price they've wanted in some markets and end up getting it, in some cases getting more money for that home. Many agents have been telling their clients to shoot for the moon with regards to pricing because there was a low amount of home. Buyer demand was at an all-time high because of super low interest rates, so buyers were willing to do these crazy things. But as I mentioned earlier, things are shifting and sellers being unrealistic is no longer an option in this current market. So if you're watching this wondering, okay, which properties are selling quickly, which properties are sitting a little bit longer? Well, the homes that are sitting a little bit longer are those that have inferior locations, those that need some work, those that are priced too high. The price too high variable is, is across the board. Those homes are always going to take a little bit longer to sell. But on top of that, the location absolutely matters. Over the last couple of years, we've seen homes that shouldn't be selling at the price of a fixed up home in a superior location get the same price as the home that's backing to the freeway that needs work, right? Both of those homes were selling at the same price because of the low inventory. Well, as the market has shifted, what we've seen is those properties that have the inferior location that need some work, that are maybe a little outdated with regards to the upgrades. Maybe it wasn't updated recently, but it's you know maybe updated 15 years ago. Those homes tend to sit a little bit longer in this market. The days on the market for those homes are going to be higher typically than those homes that are priced correctly, that have nicer upgrades, more of the newer upgrades that the grays and whites, the quartz countertops, the you know the LVP with regards to flooring, those that are in superior locations, you know in the middle of the tract or maybe in the great school district, those homes are still fetching a premium in many markets out there. They're still getting multiple offers. Why? Well, many buyers out there don't have the additional money to go in and redo these properties, nor do they want to deal with dealing with contractors and remodeling and what have you. So they want to buy the home that's already fixed up. And so those homes in this environment are still getting a premium. So if you have one of those homes and you're planning on selling it, just make sure you're pricing it correctly. On top of that, we're gonna talk about some additional things that you have to take into consideration when selling your home in this market. But before we do that, I'd like to ask a favor. If you're finding any value in this video at all, hit that like button, feel free to subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notifications to get updated on everything real estate related. My goal has always been to educate and guide you through that process, so I appreciate you being here and I appreciate the support. Now, as a seller, what are some other things that you need to consider in the current environment? 
Well, one, the time of year. Homes in this market are going to sit a little bit longer. So when your home is sitting on the market for maybe a little bit longer than you thought it would, just take into consideration the time of the year does have an impact on how quickly your home sells. But on top of that, there are some additional things that you can do in order to help your home stand out. Now, over the last two years, when I would go on a listing presentation and the home would need repairs, I would tell the seller, don't worry about it, right? It looks good, it's good enough, you're going to get an offer anyway because of the market that we're in. Well, as things have shifted, those repairs that have been neglected or that you are wondering whether you should do in this market, it's probably something that you may need to take into account, especially if it catches the eye. So you have to start thinking about the market like you did prior to the pandemic. So I would definitely consider doing you know, these repairs prior to putting it on the market. In addition to that, if your furniture doesn't fit the house, staging is always a great option. Over the last couple of years, we haven't had to consider staging, again, because the market was so fast, things were selling quickly, but staging absolutely helps homes sell quicker. So if you're looking to get top dollar for your home, not only do you need to do the repairs, price it right, but you also need to consider staging the home because it will help it show in its best light and ultimately, you know, the photos that are taken on that property are what's gonna populate everywhere, so it's important to have it looking its best when going to the market. And the last thing I wanna talk about is commission. Over the last couple of years, we've seen compressed commissions. Why? Because homes were selling very, very quickly. Agents didn't really have to do a lot but put a sign in the yard to sell a home very quickly. Well, things are changing. Agents have to get back to marketing now. They have to get back to doing brochures, putting the property you know, in print, mailing out flyers to the neighborhood. All of the stuff that we were doing prior to the pandemic, we are doing once again. And with that, there is now more inventory on the market. So commissions play a part in how quickly homes sell. And it may be an opportunity for you to stand out against another home in your neighborhood. If you're offering a higher commission, you might have a better opportunity to get your home sold quicker versus the neighbor down the street. Another example of this would be with home builders. As the market was hot, home builders were building homes, they basically cut agents, buyers agents out completely because they didn't need buyers agents. You know, buyers would walk directly into the home builders and buy the homes directly, and therefore they didn't need the buyers agents. Well, guess what? As the market has shifted, more homes are on the market now, these builders aren't selling these homes quite as quickly, they are now offering incentives to buyer's agents to bring buyers in. And this is similar to what you have to think about as a seller out there. How are you going to get agents to bring someone in the door? It could be commission on top of doing the other things that we mentioned. Now, again, this is a conversation with your agent. This isn't something you should take from me and just put it out there. You should have a conversation with a professional when you're thinking about selling your home. If you need a professional, you don't have one, you want a referral, do me a favor, go to this link on the screen here. I'm happy to refer you to somebody I know, like, and trust that'll take great care of you, and that's anywhere in the United States. So if you're considering selling your home, use that link, and I'll be happy to make the referral. And the last thing that I've mentioned several times in this video that's going to help you maximize price and get the most amount of money is pricing your home correctly from the start. Pay attention to what the comparables are doing. Pay attention to where homes are selling versus where they were originally listed and when those homes sold. If you see a home that sold back in April and you're trying to price your home off that comparable, understand in April, it was a little bit different market, right? If that home closed in April, it likely went under contract in February or March when interest rates were quite a bit lower. As interest rates have risen, demand has dropped, which has also caused home prices to decelerate some. So you might not be able to take that comp and go above it, right? You might actually have to price a little bit below that comp just based on the changes in the market. And it's important to understand that. But don't be surprised to see days on the market tick up, homes not sell the very first weekend, it taking a little bit longer. That's nothing to panic about. We're getting back to more normal times, which is what the market was doing prior to the pandemic, right? We had some seasonality in that market. We had fluctuations with regards to days on the market. And as the market shifts, we are going to see those days on the market rise. 
So assuming that you've done the things we've talked about in this video, you're putting yourself in a good position. But if you're watching this video and wondering, is it too late to sell? Did I miss my opportunity to maximize price? Do me a favor, check out this video here. I dive into it in more detail, but for now, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I appreciate your support. Hope to see you again soon. Have a great day, bye-bye.